Okay, so you'll need some pom-poms, either medium or large, some ribbon or strips of leather, thread and needle, scissors, and of course, your boa. Now, I got this one from Joanne, but I believe you can also find them at Michael's. So since my pom-poms are of a medium size, I'm taking two of them and sewing them together so that I have a bigger base for my final fur ball. <laughs> but I was at Walmart yesterday and I noticed that they actually had bigger pom-poms. So you can always pick one up from there. These I got from Michaels though. So once your pom-poms are secure, you'll go ahead and just tack your piece of ribbon or piece of leather, whatever you decided you wanted to use for the strap of your fur ball, just go ahead and tack it at the base so that way it's easier to sew to your um, base fur ball. Then as you can see here, I didn't sew my two fur balls together to the point where I couldn't get in between them. So I'm sliding my ribbon in between the two fur balls just for extra security. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew that in place as well. So I'm just going through the pom-pom, through the ribbon, and then through the other pom-pom and back around. And just do that a few times until it's pretty secure. So now I'm taking my boa and I'm basically just securing the very end, just going through the pom-pom underneath the boa, through the second pom-pom, and then up over the boa, back down around and through the pom-poms again. So basically you're just like sewing around and tacking the boa down. And I'm just going all the way around my pom-pom continuing sewing under and back over, under and back over. And I'm just continuing this process until basically I've sewed the whole boa to my pom-pom base. So you just keep going around making sure that you're adding the boa in a way that you're creating a even sphere or even ball. And once I've run out of space to tack into um, the visible pom-pom, I'm just basically going by feel, making sure the needle is going through the thickest part of the ball and then back up and around. Once you have the entire boa secured to the pom-pom base, I'm just taking my thread and knotting it around my ribbon loop to secure my stitch because it was really hard to get the needle in and then back up in a close area to knot it off in the actual ball. So I'm just taking it and looping it around the ribbon loop and knotting it that way so that way I know my stitch is secure. And at that point, you're done. You can just clip the excess thread and you have yourself a cute little pom-pom.